Hey there, welcome. Leo here again with another training uh, with the Facebook uh, marketing guide for real estate agents, right? Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, traffic website custom audiences and more directly or more specifically about remarketing and retargeting on Facebook, all right? So how do you, can you use this custom audiences that you build within Facebook for remarketing and retargeting? First, what is um, uh, how you can use that? So in essence, a Facebook uh, custom audience is something that you can um, build based on specific criteria from people that uh, like you and trust you the most, right? Either be your best customer, either be the people that just so you visit your website or visit your Facebook profile. So there's so many criteria that you can use to build custom audiences, but it helps because you can, in a way, separate them in, so to speak, buckets, so that um, should you ever need to uh, split up different types of advertising to a specific type of people, um, this could be useful and it's something you can already start doing for free. So it's definitely to your advantage as a, as a real estate agent, uh, broker, right? Real estate uh, broker, um, small business owner to start applying this, uh, uh, and in, in, in implementing to part of your marketing strategies. Again, you do want to be doing this because there are potential to split up a separate bucket to help you treat your uh, audience according to their needs or what phase they are on the buying process, all right? Many times you could have audiences that are just basically got to know you. So obviously those audiences, you need to warm it up a little more. They don't, they still getting to know you. Um, other audiences just basically have are in the face that they know you, but they need to learn more about you. So there's different ad strategies that you can use to, to those type of people. And then obviously uh, the very loyal, warm audience, which are people that buy from you multiple times, refer you multiple times. Um, they obviously, anytime they mention um, your type of business, your industry, let's say that somebody mentions, I need to buy a house, they obviously think about you and give it your car. That's the type of loyal audience that is basically the third um, of the one of the audience that we just covered that obviously is the most willing to buy from you where you can more likely target with your specific ads to send you offers, right? For small local business owners, e comms or to send directly, um, if you're a real estate agent, uh, more direct information like uh, open houses you may have coming on that they can help you distribute the word or they know somebody, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Remarketing and retargeting. So remarketing and retargeting are ads that allow you to follow all over the internet. If you, for example, have been um, looking at something within Amazon and then you go out to other websites uh, and you start seeing the same product you saw on Amazon, but you didn't purchase for X or Y reason. Let's say you had to take your kids right when you were about to purchase or you still need to think more about that product. Do you really need it? Um, for any reason that you didn't purchase at that time, well, if you notice next time when you go to Amazon, um, what is going to happen, that same product is going to follow you all over the internet. That's what basically, in essence, is remarketing, retargeting. And so um, that's basically what I put over here, ads that will follow you all over the internet. Uh, you can use different uh, retargeting criteria. okay? You can use customer, customer file, meaning you have a list of a customer either because they became a lead of yours or because you have a CRM and there are your actual customers that purchased from you in the past. Depending how you separate your your buckets within your leads, right? Um, you can upload it according to those specific criteria, but no matter the case, uh, these are what a customer file is in essence, right? You have the information and you can upload it to Facebook. And then Facebook will try to match up according to the best their activity according to whatever information you provide. 
you have website traffic criteria, which is basically being able to track people that visit uh, all of your all of their visitors, uh, that visit any page on your website, that visit a specific page on your website, that visit uh, a specific page, but not this other page. Uh, so many other criteria that you can work with and website traffic, app activity, that, that's more, like I say, is right. That's more for people that um, uh, build applications and want to create different custom audiences based on uh, what activities they do on, on their applications that they download the apps. Uh, offline activities, engagement, and we're going to see more. Not sure if this is the, the latest um, list over here, but I just want to give you a quick overview there. All right, so after talking about the create the custom audiences that you can build, also you are able to create lookalike audiences of um, uh, the criteria that you set up based on the custom audiences. Okay, so for example, if you have a loyal customer base list of a thousand customers or more, you upload that to Facebook. And then you then tell Facebook, I want me, I want you to find me a thousand. Uh, sorry, I want you to find me other people on Facebook that are very similar to the ones that buy from me all the time. These one thousand people that buy from me all the time. So obviously, that source of list or that source of leads are very loyal because they purchase from you. And when you create a lookalike audience like from that type of list, obviously it's much more effective. Now, real quick, I want to read this from you that I got from the Facebook uh, business help section, right? A lookalike, a lookalike audience is a way to reach new people who are likely to be interested in your business because they are similar to your best existing customer, just like I mentioned before, okay? Because they are similar to your best existing customer, obviously there are, they have a much, it, it is a bit much better uh, lookalike audience to build off, okay? As opposed to uh, building one of customers that just got to know you, okay? And obviously this takes some time to set up a process, a system like this, uh, but the more accurate you are in getting to know your audience, the better information you will provide to Facebook to go out and find you people that uh, are similar to ones that are already bought from you. You can choose the size of a lookalike audience during the creation process. Smaller audiences more are more closely matched to the source of to your source of your audience. So, with when you're creating the audience list for lookalike audience, it gives you options to. Uh, match either a smaller or bigger audience, right? Obviously, with the smaller audience, you have a much better chance to um, find lookalike people that are um, very similar to your loyal customers, for example, right? As opposed to you creating a larger audience, it increases the potential for reach, but then at the same time, it reduces the level of similarity between your lookalike audience and the source of the audience that you uploaded. In the example that we've been providing, for example, your loyal customers, basically that if you expand that uh, audience to a larger audience, if you increase it, your best customers, when a lookalike audience is, when Facebook go out, goes out and try to find a lookalike audience, your, it's not going to be very similar to your uh, best customer just because you are um, uh, creating a larger, a larger uh, audience. You, you can reach more people, that's true, but they're not going to be very similar. So it's up to you how you want to do it, right? This is to your preference. Obviously, the recommendation will be to uh, get a better return on your investment is to uh, stay close to the people that are already uh, purchase from you if you have custom uh, a customer database you know right they, people that buy from you um, other than that if you have a larger budget if you are just basically trying to reach more people then obviously you can go bigger but 
the, the, the smaller you stay, the closer you're going to be to find people that are, that are similar to the ones that already know you. So you can check the, uh, this link over here uh, to read everything about it, to, to read uh, the full article, right? about uh, lookalike audience. But here also a diagram that I found of uh, Google. So as a as I mentioned before, here's your database, right? You upload it to Facebook and then Facebook will try to match um, to your database and then build a lookalike audience. Basically going out and finding more people similar to your uh, existing database through advertising. Let's see if I miss anything here. All right, so setting up your custom retargeting, retargeting audiences. Uh, the first thing you gotta do is go to your ads manager or business managers, find the settings option, which is this one right here, and then you will find audiences on their assets. And from there, you'll be able to create your custom audience. So going back to uh, my live screen. Okay, I'm in my ads manager or business manager, and then I go to uh, assets under assets. Uh, why is this not coming up? Let me see. All right, so go to my settings. Under assets, you see there is audiences. Now, when I get to audiences, I'll be able to get the option to build uh, the audiences that I want by pressing this create audience. OK, you will you can either uh, do a lookalike audience uh, based on different criteria, or you can click on custom audience if you just basically start from scratch. This is the one option that you can do to upload um, uh, your leads from a list, existing list you have in some other place like uh, your autoresponder or uh, a CRM. As you can see, this has direct in integration already with MailChimp, so it makes it easier for you if you, for example, are using MailChimp as an autoresponder to um, store your leads. Or you can just um, pay somebody, you know, ask your admin or or if you have one, or build it yourself, put a spreadsheet together, put all the information, right, that you, that you have available. Um, obviously, Facebook would kind of tell you what information can grab. Uh, or you can just go to websites like Fiverr.com and just pay somebody um, anywhere from five and up to uh, build the, build the file for you. From, for you. Uh, so that's the customer file. Uh, the other option is that we mentioned website traffic. Okay, so from website traffic, you can specify the number of days up to 90, 180 days of the visitors. Um, you can either select all people that visited to your website, or you can select people that visit specific web uh, pages, or you can select uh, visitors that spend a specific amount of time, uh, or you can set up custom events. Okay, then you can name your audience, and that's something that you should definitely do. Na name your audience and be very detail specific about it. Okay, uh, so for example. If I'm doing uh, creating a custom audience for all my website visitors, then I can name it these all website visitors. Okay. Um, if I'm doing one for a specific page, then obviously I can say um, people that visited that spe this specific page. Okay. For example, uh, my about section or my shopping cart section or my store section, whatever. Okay. Uh, other stuff that you have available is. Um, engagement uh, which are very very powerful you can as you can see there you can uh, build uh, custom audiences based on people that watch his videos that are in your business page uh, or on instagram uh, you can build custom audience uh, people that um, uh, if you're using lead forms right um, they use a full screen experience that visited your web facebook page your instagram business profile that uh, interacting with your event, so many different ways that you can build a custom audience that you should definitely start doing um, because they're, they are free to do. So that it's all for today. Um, again, go back and watch the other modules and lessons if you need to catch up, if you still need to know uh, the, the very basics of Facebook, how to set up your, your personal profile, how to set up your business page. Uh, if you miss anything related, how to actually go and create the pixel, then go back and 
uh, rewatch the other videos. Um, but I hope this uh, training was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, see you later. Bye.